That winning streak and, uh, is one to two. It's nuclear siren for the lead off stride. Steel Justice. Steel Justice on an early break. Around the first turn. And it's nuclear siren on the inside. Quickly hustled up. There goes Artie's best. And Artie's best now with a two-length lead. Hoodoo Lobel drops in. Looks to drop into that second spot. Now will charge up. Precious Bunny the outside third. Then it's nuclear siren in fourth. Easy Goer, the outside, fifth. Cultivate in sixth. I Carl is seventh. Then it's J.C. Skippy after that Quarry Lobel. The outside, Steel Justice. Jack's Desire is last. 27 and 3 the first quarter. Down the back stretch they go. Precious Bunny with the lead. The outside, Easy Goer. Hoodoo Lobel is third. Nuclear Siren, the outside, fourth. Oh, then it's Artie's Best in fifth. Another three. Cultivate sixth. The half, 55 seconds. Wheel on to the far turn, and it's Precious Bunny who leads it a length. Easy goer on the outside, second. Tucked in along the inside. Who do Lobel is third. That's Nuclear Siren right there, fourth. Three wide, J.C. Skippy in fifth. Then after that, Artie's best in sixth. Cultivate is seventh. Well, they go by the three-quarter mark in 123 and 4 as they turn for home. It's still Precious Bunny with a two and a half three length lead. J.C. Skippy second. Here comes Nuclear Siren who's gobbling up ground now at every stride in deep stretch. Precious Bunny on the inside. Nuclear Siren on the outside. Getting up. Here's an amazing performance, Jay Bergman. 151 and 4. And watch this horse finish his last 16th. It was a brilliant effort considering that he got blind switched on the final turn. J.C. Skippy did. Uh, he came three wide and Cab Manzi had to wait with Nuclear Siren and let Precious Bunny, who cut 55, 123 and 4 half in three quarter times and looked home free till mid stretch. He gets a little bit leg weary, but Nuclear Siren just full of himself. The Snow News horse wins his sixth in a row and by far the fastest one of them. This may be the fastest first race in the history of the sport. I can't recall any faster. But whether it is or not, it's an amazing story. St uh, Steve Stewart, who has hunted and farmed,